Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Monday, the 11th day of January. Here we go. Monday, the 11th of January, 2016, is Rosh Chodesh Shavat. If you didn't know that, uh, it starts Sunday night and it goes through all day Monday. It's a one-day Rosh Chodesh. Rosh Chodesh Shavat is always one day. You know, there are other Rosh Chodeshes that can be one or two days. Rosh Chodesh Shavat is always a one-day Rosh Chodesh piece of trivia for you. There's another giant piece of trivia too big to be called trivia that you need to know about Rosh Chodesh Shvat, and that is that our, the, um, some rabbis some rabbis consider Rosh Chodesh Shvat and the next 37 days after it in some ways as big as the day of Shavuos, the 6th of Sivan. Now let me explain what on earth I'm saying, just in case this sounds like a little uh, crazy to you. You see, if you look at the very beginning of the book of Devarim, you will find that Moshe spoke to the Jewish people in the 11th month on the first day, and he began the final speech of his life. Now, the 11th month, you know, depending on whether you count the beginning of the year from Tishrei, or whether you count the beginning of the year from um, Nisan, it makes a giant difference which one is called the 11th. And the rabbis tell us that there, when Moshe gave his final speech to the Jewish people, it was referring to the 11th month from Nisan, because God tells us that in the Torah, God tells us that uh, Rosh Chodesh Nisan is the beginning of all months. And so the 11th month is the month of Shabbat. And that's when Moshe began his final speech to the Jewish people at the beginning of the book of Devarim. Go look it up. It's right there at the beginning of Devarim. And then Moshe speaks to them until the day that he passes away, and that is the 7th of Adar, which is 37 days later. And that means that Moshe began on Rosh Chodesh Shavat, a 37-day speech, kind of, sort of, admonishing the Jewish people for mistakes they had made, blessing them, uh, admonishing them to, to them that they should grow and become better and everything, and put mistakes behind them and, you know, reinvigorate their Torah learning, etc. He also recaps then in the whole book of Dvarim, in one way or another, it's the Mishnah Torah, it's kind of like the, I won't say the repetition, but he recaps and and adds to many mitzvos in Mishnah Torah in the uh, in the fifth book of our Torah. He kind of reviews with them all the important laws of Torah that they need to know. And it is for this reason that we, you will find in some of the later works, rabbis speaking about how Rosh Chodesh Shvat until thirty seven days later, the th- uh, seventh of Adar, when Moshe passes away, that these thirty seven days coming up before us are days during which you can find yourself to be expanding. <laughs> Shavuos is the time that we, you know, re-inaugurate the acceptance of Torah. But what happened on Rosh Chodesh Shvat for the next 37 days was not exactly the acceptance of a Torah, but kind of like a renewed vigor in the study of Torah, because that's what Moshe did, you know, thousands of years ago on this day on Rosh Chodesh Shvat. And therefore, this would be a fantastic time for you to ramp up your, your Torah study, reinvigorate your review of Torah study, because these are the big days for 37 days. I'm not making this up. This is in the Sefer uh, HaTodah. He speaks about how these 37 days, starting now, Rosh Chodesh Shvat, until the, 30, the se- 37 days later, the 7th of Adar, you can reinvigorate your review of Torah, your study of Torah, just as Moshe did that first time on this exact day on Rosh Chodesh Shvat. So have a very, very good month, a meaningful month, and uh, log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.